Hello, Infidel. I got some questions for your Q and A. And if you use this, all right. But right, without further ado, let's go. Um, let's see. Do you think there's a point for a band to have an illegible logo, and if so, why? Number two. What are your guilty pleasures in music? I mean, this is the one artist that you listen to the first time. You don't really like it, but over the course of like time, you listen to it, or you certainly it grows on to you, and you start to like it. I'm wondering, if you have an, anything? experience with this with an artist not metal or not metal it doesn't it works um, number three do you think subgenres in metal are really necessary I know that metal is broken up into subgenres whereas like metal black metal death metal and like power metal power violence and just too many to count but there's three band there's three genres that I come in contact with or just knowing about them but I'm not sure who to really talk to about this so I'm not sure either but they're called um, Cybergrind, Goregrind and Pornogrind. Each of them have their own distinct sound and but they both have like tech death metal or influence or elements I should say. Let's just I don't I don't use this term quite lightly but it's kinda of what it sounds like but what I'm getting at is, do you think that this these subgenres or these continuing, the growing subgenres are really necessary in the world, vast world of metal, where we have already subgenres already off metal? Do we need subgenres off of death metal, which would be like death core, death core, I guess, but. Gore grind would further more in that category. Death, death metal, gore grind, um, cyber grind, porno grind, etc. And there's so many grinds that you can't even imagine. But do you think that these subgenres are really necessary? Uh, number four. What do you think of pitch shifted vocals? This is kind of where. Um, a um, an artist in a porno grind band, most mainly in porno grind bands. Porno grind bands do it sometimes, but not as often as porno grind. But they do it nonetheless. Where it's where like um, they hook up a guitar distortion pedal onto their microphone, which when they activate it, they sound they give off a, vo a vocal that's really extremely low, and inhumanly low. Let's just keep it at that. That do you think that this can be used in a mainstream band for? Um, um, let's see, I'm going to say this, um, used for, used and be appreciated for it, or do you think this can be a turn off for listening to fake vocals, because I know that people who listen to metal and they want to hear actual real vocals, they want to hear a real growl, not something that's fabricated, this is not something they can't, some people cannot do, some, something like it's along the lines of drum machines, whereas you don't want to hear something that goes insanely fast, like a thousand beats per minute, but you want to hear something that someone can actually play. Something along the lines of like that. Anyway, thanks for listening to my questions. If you truly do respond, yeah, that's fucking awesome. But either way, thanks for watching, and fuck yeah, I'm live long, long live metal, and this one right here. Suffocation. Fuck yeah.